many times you'll be maintaining multiple applications. And switching between the applications can be a pain if you're having to swap between them very often. So here I have an example where this test application, it's posted on localhost port 3000. Well, this is started by when going into the Rails directory, I simply just typed Rails S, that starts up the application. However, it wouldn't be nice if we could have a test app dot dev. So when whenever we come to working on this application, we can just go to our test app dot dev right here, and then this will load up the application. Well, we can do that with a program called PAL. PAL is a simple rack server that will allow you to spin up as needed your applications whenever you go to your .dev domain. So it's a very simple installation. All you do is type curl get pal.cx pipe sh. Now you can view the source of this sh, but you do want to be careful whenever executing a script offline because it could have some malicious content. So type in that in. It'll get it from the server. It'll install it and you'll be ready to go. Now, uh, there is a great gem that allows you to easily simlink this into your um, PAL directory, and it's called Powder. So if you type gem install Powder, it'll install Powder. Then all you have to do is type Powder link, and it'll create the simlink, and now your application is available at testapp.dev. So let's go back here and try this out. Doing that, now we get our full-blown application. Now, PAL is a service just for OS X, so you're not gonna be able to use this for Windows or Linux, but there is a Linux alternative called Prax, and Prax is going to allow you to download it, set it up very similarly as you did with um, PAL. However, uh, you will have to create a symlink for your application, uh, which is the same as doing it for uh, PAL, but we use Powder instead. So this is uh, a great alternative if you're developing on Ubuntu uh, or another flavor of a Linux distribution. So between PAL and Prax, you have a great way to switch between Rails applications uh, and one thing to note as well, this does work with any kind of subdomains. So if you are creating a multi-tenant account uh, application that is dependent on uh, subdomains, you are able to easily put in uh, your subdomain into your PAL here, and it's going to pick up the testapp.dev, and it'll just pass over or pass through the subdomain name. So... That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching.